German jazz musicians have always had a lot more success abroad than at home. But that's finally starting to change. Arts 21's Oliver Glasenab went to Bremen to find out more. Ja, kommt. Und jetzt kratze ich am Posaunenmikro. Ja, wunderschön. We're watching a sound check by the quartet based around saxophonist Silke Eberhardt, one of 12 bands appearing at the German Jazz Meeting event. The rehearsal takes 20 minutes, the same length as the actual performance later on. They're among the young German jazz musicians putting their talents on show at the Jazz Ahead Music Fair. So, what expectations do they have? I hope we'll get the chance to go on a world tour. <laughs> Not the most modest of ambitions, to be sure. But then again, German jazz acts are in increasing demand abroad. I hear via agents and musicians themselves about Germans playing in Japan, in the Philippines, in Canada, and in Australia. Would it be right to call German jazz an export product? That's right. The feedback we get here, at the German jazz meeting and elsewhere, makes it absolutely clear that there's a great deal of interest and respect in other countries for what people here are doing. Also at the German jazz meeting are Max Bob. They even played with legendary American saxophonist Charlie Mariano. But the band are certainly not letting success go to their heads. What they're primarily concerned with is their continued evolution in pushing back their horizons. Last time I was here, I talked to a guy who was doing concerts in Central Africa. It's fascinating to hear about these people. And what also makes them so likable is that they show real commitment. Now it's time to see whether the international festival organizers who've been invited have made it to Bremen. The cloud of ash billowing out of Iceland has meant chaos for the festival schedule. But on the other hand, there was a surprise unscheduled appearance by an act who had been trying in vain to leave Europe. Charlie Musselwhite and his band. We also came across one of the American festival representatives. He was bowled over by German musicians the very first time he went to a jazz ahead fair. I was astounded by uh, the level of creativity, about the vocabulary of um, jazz, about the sound, about the life, the spirit, the humor, the intelligence in the music. I, I really didn't know that that scene existed, and I became a fan of it immediately. Jazz Ahead has become a key meeting place for the industry since its launch five years ago. It's where the movers and shakers of the jazz world congregate. And another reason to come is to try out new instruments. But the main business here is about the record labels introducing their latest artists and releases. But aren't sales rather low? Not really. It's great having a product. And that people can see and hear how you play. But we now have a situation where people hear the CD first and then come to concerts. The Pablo Held Trio are a big hit on this day of the music fair. And they clearly also have their fans among the festival bigwigs from overseas. I think they played only one piece, 20 minutes piece, and they, it was like a story. They, they tell a lot of things in one, one piece, so it was very nice. I really enjoyed the trio. It was uh, very thoughtful, very dynamic, um, a lot going on there, and um, it was fascinating. I enjoyed it. 
So German jazz acts are in demand. But it's not all non-stop action here at the Music Fair. You can also kick back and relax and read up on what else is happening in the jazz scene. <laughs> 